we take a closer look at Prop 22, that's the measure that allows app-based companies like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash to keep their drivers as independent contractors rather than employees. Now, you'll recall that in January, a new California law went into effect requiring that these so-called gig workers be classified as employees, making them eligible for minimum wage and other typical worker benefits like overtime, sick pay, and health care. Prop 22 would exempt these app-based companies from that law, keeping drivers as independent independent contractors, but it gives a little back. Drivers would now earn 120% of minimum wage, but only when they're actually driving, not during the downtime in between rides. And the companies would also pay drivers subsidies to help them pay for their own health insurance and uh, auto insurance. Now, supporters of Prop 22 say the gig company's business model of offering drivers flexible schedules keeps on-demand rides at a relatively low price for all of us. Uber claims it would have to cut three-quarters of its drivers in California, and prices could more than double if it is forced to comply with this current state law that went into effect in January. So opponents say these gig companies exploit their drivers and that they are greatly exaggerating the job cuts that would come, and they say the pandemic highlights the need for drivers to have paid sick leave and to the ability to collect unemployment benefits. So a yes vote on 22 allows the gig companies like Uber and Lyft and DoorDash to keep their drivers classified as independent contractors, but with the added benefits, a no vote forces them to abide by the new state law and make their drivers employees with all the benefits that come with that.